Mom, I elected Winchester University. Mom, are you hearing? I'm hearing. So what? I get into university. Do you have nothing to say? So what? You still have a long way to go. Don't be complacent. Mom, now I think about it. Mom never praised me. Even I tried to get all the good points on every test. Sometimes she was too serious. I don't know what to do to make her happy. Albert, did you receive the result report? I already received. I passed. How about you? Me too. Mary Wealthy University, near yours. Great. What about Tandy and Ron? Tandy passed. He will be in the same university as you. Ron passed, too. We all passed. Let's celebrate. Good. Find a place. I'm going now. Episode 1, A New Life. Congratulations, everyone. Don't forget each other when you go to new school. That's right. How about you, Johnny? Tell us your good news. I won't go to university. What's wrong? Your result is good. My family doesn't have money. I will find a job after I graduate. What a pity. Don't worry. Even you don't go with us. We are still friend. Albert is right. We are still friend, right? Thank you. You have been in silent all this time. Say something. I pass, but it's not as expected. Did you try to get into Winchester University, right? I will learn at a university near it. So that is. Don't forget us when you come to that university. What branch are you in? Engineering is my choice. I've wanted to be an engineer from elementary school. I like economics. I choose tourism and hospitality management. Tourism? Will you be a tour guide? That's right. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought you would choose an academic branch. You are the studious one after on. I want to change myself. I've studied all this time. I want to learn more from people around me. If you don't have anything to say, I go first. I have works to do. He just failed Winchester University. He shouldn't be like that. Winchester has been Ron's goal for a long time, but his result didn't good. All right, we will cheer him later. Albert, we study near each other. Let's keep in touch. Of course, you too. Mom, I want to be independent. No. Don't worry, I will live in the dormitory. No. What's wrong with you? I won't live outside. I will live in my college. No is no. You will live in Judy's house. I called her. She will help me look after you. Mom, I'm 18. At least you must let me decide how I want to live. It doesn't mean you have any knowledge of life. Listen to me. It's for your own good. Okay, do you forget anything? No, I don't. They are all here. You are a college student now. You must usually call me. I know. Mom, we have Judy. She will tell you about me. Albert, I know you are angry with me, but what I've done is for your own good. Judy won't interfere too much in your life. You still have your privacy. Don't worry. I will look after Albert and usually call you. I'm assured. I have too much works to do. Albert will be living away from home. So I'm worried about him. I know. If I was you, I would be worried too. We still have a room for you. Do some cleaning and it will be ready. I only have a condition. You must eat with us every day. Yeah. I know. 
Bella, you go with Albert. You will meet him every day. Yes, Mom. Albert, come with me. Don't you have anything to say? What to say? Getting acquainted or something like that. We will live in the same house. Don't think I will be friendly with you. You're just an outsider. Remember that. It's true that I am an outsider, but I don't intend to live in your house. That's because of my mom. If you know that, you should be docile. But Bella, I will live in my college's dormitory. I won't bother you and Judy. I know you don't like me, but I want you to help me this time. If it works, we won't see each other anymore. Do you like it? Do you have any idea? Wait until my mother leaves. Tell your mother that my college demands that students live in the dormitory for the first two years. I will do all the rest. Goodbye, everyone. Albert, you must usually call me. Yes, Mom, have a safe trip. Don't worry, I will look after him. I'm going to my room. Albert, Bella said everything to me. Why didn't Molly tell me? I just received the email from my college. I'm sorry for not telling you. Albert, it's okay. If you can, please usually eat with us. I will support you. Thank you, Miss Judy. If you can, please don't tell my mother. She conducts me strictly. I don't want to bother her. Sure. I won't tell her. Please usually come to my house. Of course. See you. Goodbye, Bella. Have a nice trip, Albert. Tandy, did you come? I'm sitting in the campus. Good afternoon. Do you know our place? I do. We live in the same room. Awesome. How was everything, my friend? Good. And you? I've already come, tell you one thing, I will live separate, not bother anyone. Really? That's good for you. I will organize a party, you should come. Of course, I will tell Tandy. Albert has gone for days. I don't know if he is okay. Judy, is Albert good? He's good. It's just a few days. Yeah, I know. How about Albert's friends? Harry's mom? It's me, Molly. Do you have free time? Let's meet with each other. I will call these people. Albert, are you free now? Come to my party. You promise. Okay, me and Tandy is going to prepare. Good, I will pick up you too. Why are you looking like that? It's me, Harry. Why are you looking like that? It's me, Harry. Is that you, Harry? You look different. Is this your own car? Yes, my family gave it. I moved out to live alone too. Let's go. Your car is nice and smooth. How much is it? Just an old car. I bought it and repaired it. You must be the best one in our group. Thank you. I will drive you too if we have another chance. Please help yourself. You play big. It will take a month's money for meals. Don't think too much. Just play. Harry, my friends want to meet you. Can you go? Of course. Please wait for a while. I have to talk with people. Please don't mind. It's okay. You should go. We will take our time. Okay. Good luck. Harry changes so much. I know. I didn't even realize him. I want to change too. Do you have any idea? 
I don't know yet, but I'm watching some fitness programs on the internet. If you have time, we can practice together. Try to change our shape this year. Good idea. Episode 2, New Things. Good evening. Can we have a chat? Sorry, I'm waiting for my friend. Don't worry. My friend organizes this party. He's talking with his friend. We are just walking around. I am Albert, and this is Tandy. My name is Sam. Where is your friend? She leads me to this party and goes away. I don't know anyone. I don't know anybody but Tandy. Let's take a walk. Me and Tandy are new. I am studying in Winchester University. And you? I'm in Venuel University, Tourism and Hotel Management. Wow! It's my branch too! What are you studying? I'm studying economics. We are related to each other. I will need your help. Are you living in dormitory or living outside? Dormitory. My parents don't let me live outside. Me too. My mother wants me to live in my aunt's house. But I ask her to let me live in dormitory. What's wrong? Is your aunt not good? His mother manages him strictly. She brings him to his aunt so she can listen about him every day. I think that's good. We are getting along. Can I have your phone number? Of course. Here you are. How are you? Is it good? Wow! You're fast! My friends! It's my friend! See you again! Good! I thought you might get lost, but you could talk to a nice girl like her. She studies in the same branch as me, but different college. Do you know her college? Venuel University. Why don't I see Ron? Venuel. 30 minutes from Winchester. Oh! I called him, but he rejected. He is busy. Ron is always like that. All right. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you. You too. Do we have any classes tomorrow? We have physical education class. Good. Tomorrow let's talk some running before that. Albert, why don't you come to have dinner with us? Oh. I forgot to tell you, my friend invited me to have dinner. Friend, is he close to you? He is my high school friend. My mom knows him. That's okay. Next time, please tell me if you are busy, okay? I get it. I will come on the weekends. All right. First, let's celebrate our kids for getting into university. I heard your son is studying at Winchester University. Tandy is there as well. They can take care of each other. That's good. I will tell Albert to look after him. Harry isn't there. What a pity. They will be a good group, like they were in high school. I think so. Ron is not at Winchester. He is studying at a normal university near there. What a pity. How about Johnny? Johnny doesn't get into university. We don't have money for him. Oh, that's pitiful. Are you familiar with your college? Yes, I am. College is fun. I have to study positively and not wait for teachers like before. We learn how to work in group. There are some difficulties, but I am good now. Molly will be glad to hear that. Why don't you call me? Do you forget me? Please don't say that. Mom, it's just one week. I don't care. You must report to me every day. I'm worried if you don't say anything. Why does she try to control me like that? I'm 18 now. 
after that party. I want to meet you, but I don't have any motives. Do you have free time this Sunday? Yes, I do. Where will we meet? There is a good tea shop. I will send you the address. Sunday, 9 a.m., okay? Yes, see you on Sunday. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? You look strange, smiling in unconsciousness. It's not like that. I find a good exercise book. Let's try it tomorrow. Okay, 6 a.m. Sorry, sir. I'm going out for my phone call. Why do you call me? Why don't you call me? I just called you that day. I'm studying now. See you later. Wait, Albert. How dare you hang up my phone call? Mom, I was in my class. The teacher and my friends were uncomfortable. What do you want me to do? But you can't hang up my phone call like that. It's disrespectfully. I don't like that. Molly is exaggerated for doing that. But you should be careful next time. I don't know why she is trying to control my life. I guess Molly doesn't want you to be like her. Do you know why your parents got divorced? No, my mom didn't tell me anything. Because your dad left with no words. That's why Molly was cautious when she taught you. Sometimes it was strictly. You should feel for her. So that's how it is. I understand. I will be careful. See you. Have a nice trip. Come to my house this weekend. I know it. Goodbye. Judy, how is Albert lately? He's good. He usually comes to my house to have dinner. Why does he usually come to your house? I thought he has been living in your house. It's my fault. He's polite. Always goes back home. Albert usually gets good grades and goes out with Tandy. I've heard that Tandy is his best friend. They are good. I have works to do. Goodbye. Judy is not right. Why did she say usually come to her house? Is something happened? Judy is not right. Why did she say usually come to her house? Is something happened? Mom, what's wrong? Albert, how is your study? It's fine, Mom. I just told you yesterday. Really? I just want to know more. I'm fine. I'm sitting with Tandy and Harry. You two say hello to my mom. Hi, Mrs. Cohen. Hi, Mrs. Cohen. Hi, you two. Okay, I'm hanging up. Keep your health. You too, mom. Your mom manages you like a prisoner. Yeah, it's hard to me. I have to use some tricks to live in the dormitory. What trick? I should be stayed at my aunt's house, but her daughter didn't like me. So I used her to come here. I told her to tell her mom that I had to live in the dormitory for the first couple of years. That's hard. If I were you, I couldn't stand it. I have to go through it. But where is Ron? When I called him, Ron didn't pick up. Maybe he has new friends. What a pity. Ron is grumpy, but he was always there when we went out. Let's find a chance and talk to him. It's annoying when he's so quiet. I'm still worried. I should tell Albert to study in a college near here. It's my fault for not controlling his aspiration. It's not good to be like that. I will come to Judy's house stealthy, so that Albert won't know anything and I can get the Ruth. Episode 3, Molly Suspect. Hi, Albert. Are you free this afternoon? May I invite you for a coffee? Sure. 
Give me the address. I will be coming. I have a date. I will buy you something good when I come back. All right. Have a nice day. It's good to see you here. I've always been in girls' schools. You are my first male friend. That's my pleasure. I'm just like you too. My parents manage me strictly. I always study and study. I just have a few friends. I used all my brave to invite you. Me too. My mom manages me strictly. I've had only five friends since secondary school. Now I am a college student, and my mom always asks me to report her for my day. Wow, I don't think you are worse than me. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable, but when I found out what was bothering my mother, I sympathized her more. Me too. They just want us to be good. Hi Ron, how are you recently? I'm fine, what's wrong? Nothing, I just want to ask, because we haven't met each other for a while. If you have nothing, then I'm hanging up, I'm busy. How is that? He's hanging up, I can't say anything. Ron has always been like that. Sure is, Ron's mother said he was reading and studying all the time. That's why his grades are always high. Okay, I will find another chance. Mrs. Molly, why do you come but not telling my mother? Don't tell her. I just pass by. How is Albert? Oh, Albert goes out with his friends. Goes out? Why doesn't he study? Albert finished his homework and asked for my mother's permission. Really? Can you lead me to Albert's room? Let me see his room. Albert's room? It can't be. Why can't it be? I just want to see it. Albert doesn't want anyone to come to his room. So he brings the key with him. When does he have that habit? Okay, thank you, Bella. I go first. You don't need to tell your mom. What's that, Bella? Your mom was inflicting me. What do you mean? She suddenly came. Then asked me where you were, and told me to lead her to your room. I tried so hard to drive her away. Next time, solve your own problem. Don't make me trouble. Albert, Judy told me you locked the door and didn't let anyone come in. Why do you do that? That's not good. Do you have anything to hide? Mom, I just want my own space. So I locked the door. Judy accepted. Why do you care about that? I don't like that. Next time, I want you to open that door. Mom, I'm 18. I just want my own space. Isn't that wrong? I report to you every day, as you say. Can't you just give me some private time? I just don't want you to meet bad guys. Don't worry, Mom. I know what's right and what's wrong. I'm studying right now. See you. When does he start talking to me like that? Harry's mom, are you free tonight? Let's meet each other. I will call those people. Why doesn't Johnny's mother come? She is busy. My son has been dissipated and drinking too much. That's not good. You must tell him to study harder like he did in high school i think so ron is studying harder he says he always gets good grades in his tests he is preparing for the next test now i am planning to visit him tandy too his grades are good i saw his transcript that's good our kids get good grades so that we can rest assured tandy is studying in the same college as my son isn't he I think so. That's good. Can you tell Tandy to report about Albert to me more? He is studying far away. I've always been anxious. Okay, I will tell him. Thank you very much.
Albert? I'm in the supermarket. Do you need something? Thanks, Mom, but I don't need anything. You need to take care of yourself. I heard that you play too much. It's college. Mom, teachers always tell us to study positively, from inside to outside. If I don't go out with people, how do I learn from them? Do they have anything to learn? You just study like you did in high school. Mom, you don't understand. I just want to make my college's time better. See you. Your mom again? Year. She is annoyed these days. Albert, is Tandy there? Let's meet each other. Good. Give me the address. Harry calls us. We don't have anything to do, so let's go. Okay. I'm free now. He's getting more and more impolite. He usually hangs up my phone. I must find a chance to teach him. Hello. Can you stay away a little bit for me? Sorry. It's my fault. How dare you lay a finger on me? I'm not intended. I told you to stay away. It's you who's standing there. I can stand anywhere I want. How dare you lay a finger on me? I warned you, but you didn't hear me. I don't want to fight. See you. I'm not finishing. You don't want to solve it in peace. I'm busy. I don't have time for you. Why do you slap me? That's for your rudeness. Now, apologize me. Don't think you can escape. Sorry, what's wrong with you too? She slaps me. I want to call the police. She touches me first. Call the police. I'm willing to talk to the police with you. Please follow me. Episode 4, Unhappy Homecoming. He should come right now. Who are you waiting for? You will see. Here he comes. Good evening. Take a seat. We are waiting for you. What took you so long? Just some works. He just finished all of his tests. He learned too much and didn't have time to rest. Please don't mind. Sure. How are your tests? Good. Thank you. It's hard to invite this guy. He learns all day long. I insisted him so much on him coming here. I'm going to make a party. Will you come? Will you come, Albert? Maybe I will. I'm free recently. Don't you study? We are college students now. I want to try new learning methods, rather than reading books throughout the day. Really? You changed, didn't you? But that change has worked. You study at Winchester University, but I study at an inferior college. I don't know I was wrong. I studied as hard as you. All right, no more studying. Ron, you should come to my party. It was a pity that you didn't come last time. Sometimes you should give some time for yourself. Sorry, I'm busy right now. But about your party, I will come. Please don't mind him. I'm going now. I'm going to have some tests. You change, but you have to study. Yeah, I must study when the time comes. After watching the camera and made some investigations, I confirm that Mrs. Molly slapped the victim first. You must pay this penalty. Please come with me. That's all. She slapped me. Why does she only pay penalties? I want her to stay in jail. You had some extreme behaviors at the time, but you didn't do anything, so we don't penalize you. Because of that, Mrs. Molly won't stay in jail. You should calm yourself down. I can't save you every time. That's because of me. I've lived with worry since my son came to the city. Do you have any ideas to help me? 
You managed your husband so tightly that he divorced you, and now you want to do that with your son? He had a seizure disorder, so he must leave. That was his fault. You don't need to interfere in my family problem. Albert, we are going to have a three days vacation. Are you going to go home? Good idea. I'm going home and visit Johnny. Nice. I'm going too. I will call Harry. I'm done eating. I'm going to my room. I'm sorry, Albert. Bella doesn't like outsiders. It's okay. I'm coming home for the next three days. You don't have to wait for me. Really? I want to send something to Molly. You give it to her. Okay, Miss Judy. Harry, we are going to have a three days vacation. I'm going home. Will you go with me? We will meet Johnny. Good. I'm going too. When will we go? Tomorrow. Maybe. Good. Are you in your dormitory? I will pick you and Tanny tomorrow. I'm at my aunt's house. I will take the bus. It takes a lot of time. I will pick Tandy and pick you later. We are friends. Don't be formal. Thank you. We should be done with those foods for our kids. Don't worry. Harry just called me. They've just started. Really? Thank you about that. Didn't Ron go with you? I called Ron. He said he would take the bus. That kid is always like that. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry for being late. It's okay. We've just started. Take a seat. Mom, why don't I see Johnny and his mom? I called her. She is busy right now. So that is... Albert, what about your study? Can you tell me? It's good, Mom. I can study good thanks for Tandy's help. My presentation was good because of him. The teacher gave me an A. Thank you very much, Tandy. And you too. They are friends. They should help each other. What about you, Harry? It's difficult to learn by myself, but Albert and Tandy always help me. Too bad I don't get to be like Albert. I wonder if Ron could study with Albert and Tandy. I visited him sometimes. He has very little friends. He studies all day long. Ron, you must imitate Albert and Tandy. I'm not satisfied with your grade. I'm done eating. I go home first. Ron, Ron, wait for me. Mom, I will go to Johnny's place with Harry and Tandy. Okay, but please go home soon. When Ron stood up, he was angry. Yeah, his mom said that in front of everyone. We should wait for Ron to calm down. Long time no see. I'm busy with my work recently. It's okay. How are you? Very busy, but I'm getting used to it. I have to work 12 hours per day so I don't have much time. Do you have any plans for the future? I'm saving my money to go to Winchester City. I will go to college. You still want to study in college? Yeah, I have money now. I will try to save it, maybe two or three years. Good. If you need documents, feel free to call me and Tandy. We have much documents for you. Thank you very much. Your grades are good. You must keep it. Thanks, Mom. But you have something that I don't like. Albert, are you hiding something in your room? Why do you lock the door? What are you saying, Mom? I don't hide anything. Judy said you locked the door and didn't let anyone come in. You brought the key when you went out. That's right. You played at night as well. Why didn't you study? She suddenly came. 
asked me where you were and told me to lead her to your room. I tried so hard to drive her away. Mom, why do you know that? Did you follow me? I didn't follow you. Judy said that to me. I just wanted to confirm those. Even you got Judy's permission. You couldn't go outside much. I report to you every day. Isn't that enough? What must I do for you to have my own space? You must not talk to me like that. I did it because I was worried for you. Do you know since you've come to the city, I've lived with worry. I'm studying hard and getting good grades. You see my result. Isn't that enough for you? Albert, you are still naive. You don't have any experience. Those bad guys will harm you. I cannot have any chances to grow up if you always do that. Good night, Mom. I'm going to my room. Albert, let's eat breakfast. Albert, the food is done. Let's eat. Mom, I have sudden so I take the nearly bus. You don't have to wait for me. This kid is exaggerated. How dare he leaves without telling me. Is that you? Are you free tonight? Let's meet each other. Mom, I have sudden so I take the nearly bus. You don't have to wait for me. This kid is exaggerated. How dare he leaves without telling me. Is that you? Are you free tonight? Let's meet each other. Ron, open the door please. Ron, open the door. I want to talk with you. Ron, I'm sorry. I don't mean anything. Please go outside. I want to meet you. Why must I suffer such despondency? Ron, you must imitate Albert and Tandy. I'm not satisfied with your grade. You're good. Let's see who gets the final laugh. Ron, let's eat breakfast. I'm going back to my school. Don't worry about me. Ron, why does it become like this? Miss Judy, I will show up at the station in 15 minutes. Okay, I will prepare. Welcome back. Are you tired? Let's go back to my house. Thank you. Episode 5, Molly's Action. Sit down. The food is nearly done. So, why do you come back here soon? I thought you would stay at home three days. I really don't want to stay in that house anymore. Tell me what's wrong. Bella called me. She told me my mom came to your house but not telling you. And she wanted to go to my room, but she said that it was you who said it. My mom scolded me, because I didn't let her go to my room. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, I don't think she even did that to control me. I really don't understand. Miss Judy, I just want a space for myself. Is it bad? Albert, don't be sad. You should stay at my house for a while. I will talk with Molly. Good evening, my loyal customer. What wind brings you to this place? I want you to follow this people. Oh, do you want me to follow your husband? I thought you and him got divorced. Your husband was moved to another place. I want you to follow my son. Ha ha, it's your son this time? Amongst all my customers, you are the most interesting one. You like controlling people, don't you? It's not your business. Do you agree? I've never disappointed my customers. We just follow our old contract. What's wrong, Albert? Your mom said you were back to the city. It's just some family things. How is my mom? 
She is sad. Albert, her eyes are red. Maybe she cry. Where are you now? I'm at my aunt's house. I'm going to take the bus. I will come in tonight. Good. Come to my aunt's house. I will ask for her permission. Okay. My room has a sleeping pad. You should take it for your friend. Thank you very much. Your son is studying in college so it will be hard to get close to him. We can only follow him before and after he goes to school. Do you have any idea? You think it's easy to follow someone? That college doesn't engage security to have fun. Okay, what is the price? $2,000, travel expenses included, for two months. Why is it expensive? Can't I take a discount? Winchester City is not easy to live. If it was cheap, I would go to there. Okay, I pay you half of it. After we're done, I will pay the rest. Good! You know how to do business. Albert, please forgive me. I don't want that day to come again. If you are not with me, my life is a waste. Albert, I'm going to make a party. Will you come tomorrow? Sure, I will tell Tandy. Good, let's come. I have a surprise for you too. Harry is going to make a party again. Are you free tomorrow? Yes. Good, Harry says he has a surprise for us. Hi, Albert. Are you free this afternoon? May I invite you for a coffee? Sure, give me the address, I will be coming. There are some incidents around my college. I'm so scared. You shouldn't go outside alone on tonight. This is a big city. We don't know what would happen. It's been a long time since I was with someone. Why is that? Your friends didn't go? I only have a few friends. They are busy. I don't want to mind them. My parents say I must focus on studying. Yeah, me too. My mom is very strictly in studying. She has been tightening me more recently. It's hard to be good parents. We should sympathize them. Yeah, I think that too. All right, what is your surprise? Don't worry, you two will see it later. Please help yourself, I go talk with guests. Here is my friend, that's good. It's hard to invite you. Long time no see. It's my party, please help yourself. If you are lucky, you will get a girl. See you, I go talk with guests. They are really free. Why don't they take their time to study? Albert? And who's by his side? They're talking so friendly. Ron, you must imitate Albert and Tandy. I'm not satisfied with your grade. That lucky bastard. Why don't I get lucky like him? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing here, Ron? Why don't you go inside? I just want to take a breath. It's nothing. Let's go meeting with our friend. Yeah, you go first. I will follow you. What are you doing here, Ron? Why don't you go inside? I just want to take a breath. It's nothing. Let's go meeting with our friend. Yeah, you go first. I will follow you.
Wow, you truly come here. Aren't you busy today? I have to do what I promise. Do you just come? We haven't seen you. I was standing outside to take a breath. It's crowded here. That's like you, Ron. You never like crowded place. All right, all of you, please help yourself. I have to go for a while. Albert, how are you recently? I'm fine. Did you visit Johnny? Yes, we did. Johnny is good. He plans to study at Winchester University two or three years later. Really? What a loser. What did you say? Nothing. Say sorry for me if you meet him. I was busy at that time so I couldn't go. I have to go now. See you. Yeah, see you. I don't think we will meet Ron here. Yeah, I thought he was joking at the restaurant, but he truly comes. Episode 6, Conflict. Why do I get no information about my son? What time is it? It's 7.30 p.m. According to the contract, we will send your son's information at 9 p.m. Why are you rushing? I want my son's information as soon as possible. We will do what the contract says. If you don't have anything to say, then go home. Don't bother me. If you don't like my service, just cancel it. Let's see who's at a disadvantage. It's so long. I shouldn't believe him. Oh, Albert, why must you come to the city? Why can't you stand by my side? He didn't do much on daytime. Just studied with friends. What? He came to a party? When did he become so dissipated? And who is it? He is List's son. He is a college student, but he seems uneducated. I haven't liked him since he went back home. I must tell List to teach her son. And who is that girl? Why is she so friendly with Albert? Is she Albert's girlfriend? How dare he have a girl behind my back? What's wrong? Say it. Buzz, I lost my notebook. I was found by a kid when I was working. Is anything revealed? Eh, yeah, the notebook only has information about the sun. There's nothing about us. Good, keep working. Why do you want to meet us, Albert? You have been like that for a while. I am confused right now. If it's hard to say, you don't need to. I have no idea how to deal with my mom right now. I realized my mom was stalking me. Why do you say that? That was unexpected. She should know her limit. That's right. If it wasn't Bella, you couldn't know the truth. Yes, I was talking with my mother after that. I was so angry, and I took the early bus to go to the city on the next day. I didn't say goodbye to her. So that's why Mrs. Molly cried. Now I don't know what to do. You shouldn't meet her for a while, to let everything cool down. It's hard. If you don't mind about sharing money, you can live in my house. I have a vacant room. Thank you, I will think about that. I know you are worried about Albert, but you are exaggerated. Besides, I don't like you brought me to lie him. I'm just worried about him, is that wrong? It's imprisoned, Molly. You need to let Albert have his own space, not interfere him. Albert is an adult now, he has to deal with everything by himself. If you cover him all of the time, how can he grow up? I can raise him forever. I understand, Molly, but there will be a time you are old and he must deal with problems by himself. When you pass away, the only way for him is die. I worry about him too. Don't be sad. I will try my best to look after him. But Albert shouldn't go out stealthily. 
I need to know about this girl. Harry's mom, are you free? Let's meet each other. I will call Tandy's mom. Didn't you invite Ron's mom? Ron doesn't usually meet Albert, so I don't invite her. What do you want to say? Albert has a girlfriend behind my back. I don't see any problem. Albert is an adult. He can go on a date if he wants. I think that too. Albert is still good. Tandy told me he and Albert were still going to school together. That's nice. If only Harry studies at the same college as them. No! Albert must focus on studying. He knows nothing about those things. What if that girl makes him corrupt? You shouldn't say that. You have to give Albert his own space. You can forbid him if his scores are reduced, but he still gets good grades. Yes, I think that too. I am so hard on Harry, but it's not like I forbid him to have a girlfriend. You shouldn't overdo it. It only creates a fight between you and Albert. I'm still not sure that's acceptable. You will get used to it. If only our son is happy, then we don't need to interfere them. I agree. I don't like Harry dye his hair, but if he's still working hard, I don't care. Albert, how are you recently? Oh, I am going to call you. I usually go to school and finish my homework. I'm having a small project with my friend as a test for my teacher. The final exam is coming soon. So I won't have time to call you. Are you going out with a female friend recently? Female friend? I do. So what? I want you to quit with her. Mom, what are you talking about? We are just friends. I don't want to know. You have Tandy. That's enough. You don't need more friends. Quit it. Mom, we just help each other on study. That's love. If you don't quit, I will interfere it. What's wrong? My mom is crazy. She thinks I'm in love with someone. Maybe she means Sam. No way. I haven't told her about Sam. You should think about it. If it's just a normal friend, why is she so angry? No way. Is mom really stalking me? What's wrong? My mom is really stalking me. Last time it was the room. This time it's Sam. She is crazy. I want to hire three men to become my son's friends. What's wrong? You want to intrude directly into the life of your son? Just do what I say. I will send the money soon. Hello. Who is it? Are you Molly Cohen? It's me. Who is it? Are you stalking your son? Who are you? You don't need to know. I just want to say, I will support you, free of charge. Who are you? You don't need to know. I just want to say, I will support you, free of charge. Who really are you? You don't have to know. I will report to you twice a week, and it has more details than the guy you hired. But if I know I am followed, we will stop. I'm sure you don't want your son to know who his mom really is. All right, I accept it. But at least give me your name, and how can I contact you? There's no need. When the time comes, you will get what you want. Goodbye. He is so gruff. But how does he know I'm stalking Albert? Just who is he? Episode 7, Intervention. Can't you find anyone with scholarly face? If they have, they should be in college, not this place. If you want to help them have their degree, then go on. Just keep Albert and his friends apart. I'm going to have my final exam. I have studied all the time. Me too. Harry doesn't invite me to his party anymore. 
I hope we will get good grades. Albert? Ron, I don't think I will meet you here. This is one of my high school's friend. His name is Ron. Hello. My name is Sam. Hello. Is she your girlfriend, Albert? No, I just meet her at Harry's party. She studies in the same branch as me, so we have much things to say. That's good for you. Your life is colorful now. All right, try your best in the exam. You too. I have something to say, Albert. I don't want to separate you and Ron, but I think he has problem. He's like that. He always studies. It's hard to get him out for a play. Don't mind him. Yeah, I hope it's okay. Albert, if you go home, buy me a sandwich. I'm too lazy to go out. Okay. Hi, do you know where Winchester University is? Go straight, turn right and go straight. Thank you. Why are you so long? I met three gangsters. It's scary. So scary. I hope we won't meet them anymore. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know who is Albert Cohen. I'm telling the truth. I think he's telling the truth. Let's ask another one. Do you know Albert Cohen? It's me. Do you need something? Good. We are your bodyguards from now on. No one can touch you. Sorry, but I don't know who you are. How dare you deny my boss's kindness? Do you want to be beat? Hey, what are you doing? This is the campus. I will call the police. Hi Albert, and who is it? This is my friend. He is on the list. We can't beat him, boss. Sorry, wrong people. It's okay! Do you know them? I don't. How can I know them? Goodbye. See you tomorrow. It seems like you have a bad reputation. I really don't know them. Why do they come from? And why do they keep following me? Albert! There are three gangsters in front of your college. Do you know them? I swear I don't know them. They have made me uncomfortable since this morning. Now everyone is afraid of me. They are threatening other students. I know this one. I will try to call him. Hi, Albert. Are you free now? I'm in front of your college. Let's have a coffee. Sam, Sam, what's wrong? What's that? Sam is in trouble, I must go now. Who are you? Why do you want to meet Albert? I'm his friend. I don't see you on the list. You can't approach Albert. Get out of here. What are you doing? She is my friend. Your friend? Why don't we know her? I don't know you. Why should I say to you? How dare you talk to my boss like that? Those guys are tough, boss. Let's take it another day. That's right. Let's retreat. They're gone. Thank you very much. We drive them away. Are you and Sam okay? 
We are fine. Thank you for your coming. I know some people in this city so I can use their help. I will tell him to investigate about them and tell you later. Okay, thank you very much. Albert is going out with this girl. Her name is Sam. She is studying at another college, but she is close to Albert. So they are going out. Albert is exaggerated. He doesn't study, but go out with that girl. I heard that you hired three gangsters to interfere with Albert. Drive them away. Oliver, how is the work? Good. Now no one can get close to your son. Don't worry anymore. I want to cancel it. Hey, old woman, you are intricate. We just started it. No, I cancel it. I will pay the money. Okay, do what you want. Prepare the money. I will take it tomorrow. I hope Albert is okay. If he has something, I will regret it all my life. Albert, are you okay now? I'm fine. Mom, there are three gangsters that make me trouble recently. Do you know them? How can I know them? I hope you don't. I have an exam. Please don't call me. See you. Let's try to call him. I hope everything is okay. I'm so crazy. How is it? My mom called, asked me if I was okay. I told her about those three gangsters, but she didn't say anything. I hope your mom doesn't know them. Albert, are you free now? Yes, I am. Did you find something? Yeah, I found some, but it's a bit hard to say. What's wrong? Just say it. Albert, please don't get too surprised. What is that? Albert, those three gangsters are hired by your mom. They are stalking you for her. Albert, please don't get too surprised. What is that? Albert, those three gangsters are hired by your mom. They are stalking you for her. Is that real? A friend of mine inflicted them. They said they were hired by a woman named Molly to watch you. You should be cautious these days. Yeah, thank you. I'm going outside for a while. Are you sure about that? Sure is. When I detected him, he dropped this paper. That's horrible. Albert's mother is crazy. Thank you for telling me. I will do something. You're welcome. If you find anything, please tell me. What's that? You rarely take care of other people. I thought you'd never like Albert. He is my friend too. Sometimes I feel jealous of Albert for studying at Winchester University, but it's not like I hate him. It's okay. Be safe. Episode 8, The Shocking Truth. Those three gangsters were caught. Albert knew you were watching him. You should be careful. Those guys in the service will find you. What should I do? You shouldn't say anything now. Just stay there. If necessary, let them know it's their fault. And ask for compensation because you are their customer. I get it. Thank you. What's wrong, Albert? You don't say anything. I feel tired because I study too much. I'm going to my room. Okay. Please take a rest. I know mom doesn't want me to be affected by bad social habits, but doesn't she think that her way is too much? Last time she tried to go to my room, and now she hired gangsters to destroy my life. What does she really want? If it continues, what should I do? Mom, why must you do that to me? Sam, are you free tomorrow? Can we talk? I want to meet you. Okay. You find a place. The old place. I like that. Tomorrow afternoon. All right. See you tomorrow.
What's wrong? If you have something, tell me. I have a friend. He is controlled by his parents just like us. He studies at a college far from home. One day, he found out his mother had hired a man to follow him. Oh my god! How could it be? He is not a criminal. Why did she do that? He called his mom to ask about that, but his mom said she was worried about him. I don't agree. It's true she is worried, but she must give him his own space instead of doing that. And now he doesn't know how to face his mother. I don't know how to advise him too. Hello! It's Harry! Harry, it's me. I have the result. They say their boss is a man named Oliver. It seems like that guy lives in the same place as you. You should tell your friend to be careful. Thank you. If you're free, let's have a drink. It's been a while since you called me. How are you recently? I'm fine, Mom. Do you know anyone named Oliver that lives in our town? I do. He is a gangster that lives in the end of our town. He usually does dirty jobs for money. People in there don't like him. Why do you ask me that? It's nothing, Mom. I just have a question. Thank you. Hey, old lady. Have my brothers called you recently? I ended your service already. And for the following service, I'm waiting for your people. You should tell your subordinate to hurry up or make the contract compensation for me. So that is, see you. Those two had a date in a coffee shop. They probably said something about you. How is their relationship? Very friendly. Please keep following those two and investigating about that girl. I'm going outside for a while. Hello! Who's that? Tandy, it's me, Ron. Ron? Why do you call me today? I want to ask you for a favor. Can we meet? Sure! Send me the address. Do you have something? I just want to say, please keep your eyes on Albert. What do you mean? Actually, Albert's mom is hiring some people to follow him. Do you remember those gangsters? They were hired by his mother. Really? Yeah, I told Harry and now he is investigating. And one thing more, in Harry's party, I found out a mysterious guy. When I detected him, he dropped this paper. It's unexpected. Yeah, so we have to keep our eyes on Albert, so he won't be in danger. Tandy, if you find anything, please tell me. I'm worried for Albert too. Of course. I will try. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's that? Why do you look so happy? I received a message. We nearly have our final exam. And we have to study more and more. Don't you feel stress? I never insisted on it. Now I just want to study to forget it all. Did something bother you? It's just something. But after I thought carefully, I felt better. I shouldn't care about them. That's good. Albert hasn't called me recently. He must be mad at me for hiring those gangsters. Oh, Albert, please don't mind me. I can't let that happen again. Hey, old lady, I ask you once again, have you met my brothers? Again? I don't hire them anymore. Solve your own problem. They haven't come back yet. I'm sure they met you. Don't make falsehood. I canceled the service and pay the money to you. What do you want me to do? Listen, old lady, they disappeared. And the last one they have connected is you. I'm warning you, if something happens to them, I won't let you escape. Oliver, we still have the contract. 
Please don't challenge me. I can do anything. The contract? It's just a paper. I can tear it down whenever I want. But I'm not sure about your life. You should be careful. Is it you? I have a problem. What's wrong? I told you not to call me. I forgot about that. But I have a big problem. Oliver warned me. He said his brothers had gone missing. And he wants to kill me. What must I do? You deserve that for doing business with a gangster. Find somewhere to stay for a while. If you can, you should transfer to Winchester City. I'm sure they can't do anything. How can you be sure? Winchester is a big city. There must be some big gangs around. That guy isn't strong enough to fight them. If you don't want any problems, find a good change to transfer. My works isn't stable right now. How can I transfer? That's your own problem. I just give you advices. Don't call me again. We agree to work only by messengers. My works isn't stable right now. How can I transfer? That's your own problem. I just give you advices. Don't call me again. We agree to work only by messengers. This guy is so bothersome. But I really need him now. So that is the last subject. I'm tired. Me too. I hope we will get good grades. Believe in yourself. You almost studied all night long. I just say it. I will announce my result to my mom. Yeah, you should do that. Albert, those three gangsters are hired by your mom. They are stalking you for her. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just remembering some bad memories. Episode 9, Confused. Hi, Albert. How was your test? Good. And you? I finished my last subject. It's hard, but I felt very confident. Albert, let's meet one last time. I will go back home the day after tomorrow. Of course. Let's meet tomorrow. By the way, have a safe trip. Thank you. Albert, do you finish your last subject today? That's right. I did my test very good. Nice. Come to my house tonight. I will make a small party for you. What's wrong? Is something happening? It's nothing. This is the first time I've received a party for getting good grades. I have to talk with Molly about this. Remember coming in tonight. Of course. Congratulations for finishing your exam, Albert. You should learn from Albert. You will meet what he met on the future. You will be a college student next year. Please listen to Albert. Okay, Albert. I just read more books and interact with friends. Having a group of people by your side is good for memorizing the lesson. Nice. What do you do on this time? I will stay in the city and test myself in real life. I should make money by myself. You're a grown man, Albert. Are you going back home, Albert? Maybe not. I don't want to go back. I'm done eating. I'm going to my room. This girl is so impolite. So why don't you want to go back? I don't want to meet my mom now. She is passing her limit lately. She accused me of dating someone and wanted me to break up with her or she would interfere by herself. I feel like I'm just a bird in cage even if I try so much to get good grades. But she simply doesn't care about that, she just cares if I do whatever she says. I will seriously talk with Molly, don't worry Albert, I'm on your side. Thank you very much. 
Albert finishes his last subject today. Why doesn't he call me? Albert isn't calling me much lately. Of course he is busy with studying, but he shouldn't be in silence that long. In the last call, he looked so depressed. Hey old lady, how are you? Oliver, why do you call me again? Why shouldn't I? You haven't answered me yet. I ask you one last time, where are my brothers? How can I know? I canceled the contract with you. How they are now is not my problem. Don't bother me anymore. Good. I'm telling you, I will come to your house to talk with you seriously. Wait it. Congratulations, everyone. We all finish our exam. This time is so hard. I only study and study. I want to take a rest very much. We all like that. Me and Tani study every day. You two are the best. Learning in the same school, living in the same room. I only have myself. If I knew this, I would go to Winchester University. Please don't say that. Whenever you needed it, we helped you. If you want, we can form a study group. Great idea. It's a tough test. I'm not sure I can do a good job. Is there any test that makes Ron feel tough? I'm surprised. Ron now actively goes out with us. Are you not busy? I thought about what Albert said. I'm a college student now. I should use some times for myself. Albert is nice. You bring the truth to Ron. I hope we can go along much in the future. Thank you, Albert. All right, I will make a party before I go on a vacation. You all must come. Molly, come out. Let's have a talk. Good. Let's see how long you can stay on your house. Not good. I have to do something. Albert finished his last subject and has his own plan now. Why doesn't he call me? Because of your stupidity. Because you hired those gangsters to destroy his life. Tell you one thing. Everyone in his college is still afraid of him. We don't tell about that anymore. I have a big problem. Oliver is crazy now. He will break my house next time. What do I do? Like I said, you should find a place or transfer to Winchester City. If you don't make you mind fast, you will get in trouble. You all come? Please wait for a while. I have a surprise for you. You know how to make enliven the atmosphere. Of course. That's why I got guests at my party. Please help yourself. I go to this place. Let's find a place. You go first. I take some food and come later. Okay, hurry up. Johnny, do you come? I will pick you up. I already come, sorry, the bus is crowded. That's okay, where are you now? I think I'm standing in front of your house. Nice! Stay there, I'm going now! Hey, what are you doing? No, nothing. Who are you? What are you doing here? Say it now or I will call the police. There's something behind you. Good evening! Are you standing here for a while? No, I just come here. Okay, I will guide you to meet them. Yeah, let's go. I really want to meet them. They want it too. I even say your presence is a special thing. There's something behind you. Good evening! Are you standing here for a while? No, I just come here. Okay, I will guide you to meet them. 
Yeah, let's go. I really want to meet them. They want it too. I even say your presence is a special thing. Wow, big surprise. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Albert. How are you? I'm fine. Harry invited me to this party. If the bus hadn't been crowded, I would have been here soon. No problem. It's nice to have you here. I go to this place. Please help yourself. I come to the restroom. Hello Johnny, when did you get here? I just came, why didn't I see you early? I had some works to do. I didn't meet you last time, which college are you studying? A small one in Malm Street. Malm Street is near Winchester University, so we can meet together, but Ron always studies so he doesn't have time. That's Ron. Episode 10, Sinister. Ron, what are you doing? Oh, it's my mom. Really? Come to Albert's place. Okay, you go first. Don't you sit with Albert? I just take a walk. Ron. Who are you texting to? I see you typing messages three times. I check my mail. What's wrong with that? Really? I just think you have problems. I have nothing. You're thinking too much. Did you find somewhere to stay, Johnny? I made a reservation. Good. If you have problems, feel free to call me. Thank you, Albert. Goodbye Ron, I'm going to my room. What's that? Are you checking your email? It's my mom, once again. Good night. Who is it? Molly, are you good? It's me, Judy. What's wrong? Albert finished his final exam. His result was good. I had a talk with him. He will stay in the city to find a part-time job and not go home. Why is that? He told me you accused him of dating someone that he didn't even know. I know he's dating with a girl. How do you know that? Are you stalking him? I just know it by chance. Remember how you used me to lie to him? And now you are stalking Albert. He was sad. Molly. He cried and told me that his mom didn't care about what he was doing, but about whether he did what she said. I give you this advice. Don't let your possessiveness ruin your connection with him. Goodbye. What do you know? I did that because I was worried about him. How can you meddle with my problem? Judy isn't good now. She started to make me trouble. I have to find another way. <laughs> It's Oliver's spy. Is Albert at the party again? Now there is a strange people. This is the kid who didn't get into college. Why is he there? Albert is in Harry's party. This time there is Johnny. I know that kid. He didn't get into college. So I don't talk with his mother anymore. Really? Why is he here? Do you have anything with him? I don't know him. I swear. I believe you this time. That guy really had bad intention. But Ron's clothes are nearly like him. He texted all the time. Don't tell me. Harry, it's me. Are you free now? Hi Johnny, are you still awake? I have something to say. 
When I came to your house, I saw a mysterious guy. So that is, okay, I will be careful. And Johnny, Albert is stalked by his mother. Really? It's true, I will tell you more when we meet. Okay, I will help you. Albert, it's Johnny, do you sleep? I'm going to sleep. Do you need something? I want to ask where Ron's college is. I'm staying at a hotel in Mullum Street. Ron's college is in Mullum Street too. Really? Thank you. Johnny, what's that? I'm curious about your college, so I come here to visit. This is my first time in the city so I need a guide. Are you free now? Okay, I'm going to have breakfast. Let's go. Okay. Your cafeteria is nice. It's normal. Why do you say that? I always want to eat here. I go to the restroom. Ron, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm checking my email. You're really busy. I saw you texting with someone at Harry's party. Is there anything important? It's just about my study. Really? It must be nice to have college friends. I don't know anyone except you all. You will have new friends soon. I will get into college about two or three years later. You are my senior. You must help me. Of course I will. If you need something, press zero on the phone. We will help you. Thank you. Maybe leaving is the best choice. Molly, where are you? Come out and talk to me or I will break your house. Molly, why is Oliver standing in front of your house? Just a few problems. Don't mind it. You should be careful. Oliver is a gangster. He can do anything. Thank you. I know it. Albert doesn't call me lately. He is angry with me because I did that. Don't let your possessiveness ruin your connection with him. No! I did that because I was worried about him. Why is it my fault? Albert should be grateful and call me. Ron. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. I'm back to my room. Thank you for the day. Nothing. Have a nice day. That's because you didn't pay attention to me. You think too much. I don't hate you. But if you want to talk, that's okay with me. Why is he so late? Albert, sit down and eat your breakfast. Your new semester will start today, right? It's been six months since you got into college. Yeah, it's fast. How is your part-time job? It's hard, but I learn new things. Everyone taught about how to serve guests, take care guests and prepare everything before opening. That's good. You're grown up now. Making money by yourself is good. Thank you. Did you visit your mother? I called her a few times but I didn't want to go home. I know what bothers you. Your mom did some excessive things, but she's still your mother. You should give her some time. I get it. I will find a chance to visit her. I'm done eating. I'm going to clean my room. Okay. Remember to visit my house tonight. Yes, Ms. Judy. Episode 11, New Semester. I'm nearly coming. Please help me carry my luggage. Okay, how are you? Still fine. But it was boring because you didn't go home. How is your mother and Harry's mom? They are fine. But Albert, your house is harassed by Oliver and his gang. 
Looks like your mom went somewhere else. Really? I visited Johnny's workplace. They haven't seen Johnny for two weeks. His owner fired him. Do you know the cause? No. All right, I will find a chance to visit him. Call me when you come. Okay, see you. It's been two weeks since he texted me. There's still no words about Albert. I'm worried. That Oliver's spy. He was absent after he told me Albert had a part-time job. Maybe he was called by Oliver. And that guy Oliver. He's searching me. I made too much problem. What should I do? And Albert. He doesn't care about his mother anymore. He only made a few calls in two weeks. He was mad at me. That's fine. But he must think for his mother. I will move to Winchester City so that I can hide from Oliver. I should find a good house to live. There are some new subjects in this semester. What do you think? I'm waiting for the economy class. I hear that it will be taught by a good professor. Great. Does Harry call you lately? He doesn't. Maybe he is enjoying his vacation. He always knows how to enjoy his life. I didn't know where to go. I've been doing a part-time job for the past two weeks. That's nice. I don't even think about that. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jason Motley. I'm going to teach you economics in this semester. You can call me Professor Jason. We won't study anything in the first class. Let's talk about each other. We will meet until the end of year. Maybe some of you will meet me again. Let's start with the summit. Good morning, Professor Jason. My name is Tandy. I hope to learn more from you. Good morning, Professor Jason. My name is Albert Cohen. I hope to learn more from you. This economy class was nice. The professor's lesson wasn't boring at all. I think that too, but I see this professor quite familiar. Did you meet him? Never. That's just my feeling. Albert, long time no see. How are you? I'm fine. How is your vacation? When will you start your new semester? Tomorrow. The vacation is perfect. I go from the beach to the mountain. I have some souvenirs for you too. Nice. You're welcome. Albert, Johnny has been missing for two weeks. Really? Yeah, Johnny's mother is searching for him. She came to my house in Tandy's house to ask. Maybe Johnny is busy with something. I hope so. Maybe Tandy told you. But I repeat once again, don't go back to your home. Oliver is standing in front of your house. Your mom isn't there anymore. I get it. Thank you. There's so much trouble these days. Yeah, I hope Johnny is still fine. This one is beautiful but expensive. This one is fine but its location is not my taste. The house's price is too high recently. It's hard to have a house nowadays. No! I want to die rather than get back there. Maybe I should find a house in suburb. So Albert won't meet any bad people. I let Albert free for too long, and now he no longer cares about my word. I must correct him. So we can see that the supplier and the agency are closer together. Albert, can you tell me about that relationship? I think the agency is the distribution port of the supplier. The agency will collect the product with good prices and sell them to another one with high prices to earn commission revenue. That's what we are talking about. And this relationship appears in every business. It will ensure the benefit of the agency and the supplier so that they can come out of new business strategy. Your answer is good. Albert, are you? Unlike your answer, 
I saw your last semester's result. Your result is nice. Keep it up. Now you have a praise of a professor. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just thrilling. Let's have lunch. Yeah, you go first. I will follow you. Ms. Molly, a guest tells me she is Johnny's mother and a friend of yours. May I let her in? Okay, please let her in. I get it, Ms. Molly. Good evening, Molly. Long time no see. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want? I've seen you for a long time. I saw some gangsters standing in front of your house. So I was worried about you. And now I can rest assured. That's enough. What do you want? Molly, have you seen my son recently? He hasn't come back for two weeks. Sorry, I don't meet him. Johnny told me he went to the city to attend a party. Can you tell your son to find my Johnny? Sorry, Albert is busy with study. He doesn't have time. Please, Miss Molly. Please help me this time and I won't bother you anymore. I disagree. I never let Albert attend a party, so he never meets your son. Please solve your own problem. I'm tired now. Please go home. Please, Ms. Molly, please help me this time and I won't bother you anymore. I disagree. I never let Albert attend a party, so he never meets your son. Please solve your own problem. I'm tired now. Please go home. Your eyes are red. What happened? Nothing. I got a praise from my professor for my good answer and good result. I'm just thrilling a bit. Getting a praise from your teacher is good, but you don't have to be like that. This is the first time I've got a praise from others. My mom never praised me. As if my effort was no better than if I did what she wanted. Oh, Albert, what kind of life do you have all these years? Harry's mom, may I ask about my house now? Molly, that Oliver is breaking up everything. You shouldn't go back now. I'm going to move to Winchester City. That's nice. If you meet Harry, give him my regards. Of course. Where was she when I have problems? And now she talks like she is friendly to me. But that's all my fault. Just ignore her. Molly, Harry's mom tells me you will transfer to Winchester City. That's right. I will stay at it for a while. It's lucky. I want to visit Ron, but I'm still not finding a chance. If you don't mind, can you let me stay at your house? Sorry, I still don't know when I can stay stable. So that is, thank you. I move out to hide from Oliver and to live with Albert. There's no time for her. Episode 12, Move Out. Professor Jason's lesson is more and more impressive. I can hear it all day. Me too. His lesson is short but comprehensive. His examples are easy to understand. Is this Albert Cohen's number? Professor Jason, how do you know my number? I got it from a colleague. Are you eating lunch? I'm going to. I have classes this afternoon. Can I invite you? Right now. Yeah, I'm in my class. Come by if you have time. Professor Jason calls me, invites me for a lunch. Sorry for that. It's okay. Just go. How are you studying? Thank you, Professor. I usually go into the classroom and read more books. It's hard to find a hardworking student like you. Other students seem to play instead of studying. Your score is good. Have you ever thought about getting a scholarship? Our school has a high requirement for scholarship, so I never thought about it. 
I will help you. Just improve your score, and you can get a scholarship. Don't worry, I won't interfere in your life. I just want to help a good student. Can I ask you one question? What are you so kind to me for? I know you have your doubts about me. Actually, you made me remember to my late son. If he was alive, he would be the same age as you. I broke up with my wife, but I couldn't take my son with me. My old wife transferred to another place. It's been 17 years since that. If I bother you, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't have a father. My mother raises me by herself. She's just overreacting to everything around me. How is she overreacting? She always wants me to do what she says. She doesn't give me my own space, interfere in my life. She always said she cared about me, but sometimes I get bored. I don't mean anything, but it looks like you are describing my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's an old story. Just let it go. Are you still calling her? I haven't called her for a while. You should call her. You should cherish her when you can. Albert, let's go eating. Tell Tandy to me. Okay, give me the address. Harry is back. He invites us for a meal. Let's go. I'm still not eating. It's tired, but very fun. From the forest to the beach, everywhere. That's nice. We all stayed at home. Do you have something good? Nothing much. You are smiling. Albert will be helped by a good professor to get a scholarship. Your college has a high requirement for scholarship. You are so lucky. He only helps me. I must do it all by myself. That's not a problem. Your score is good. Now you have a professor. Getting a scholarship is just candy for a baby. Are you still going out with Sam? She is busy these days. I will invite her if I have a chance. You should do that. Sam is having feelings with you. I have a question. Albert, your mom is hard. How can you do that? It's my secret, but I can tell you. I don't live at my aunt's house. I teamed up with her daughter to go to the dormitory. Really? Miss Judy doesn't care much. I always come to her house to have dinner, so she doesn't mind it. The dorm isn't as good as our house, but it's still better than my old life. If you stayed at your aunt's house, you would be put under house arrest. Maybe. I have to cherish this moment. It's good to be out of control. I can attend Harry's party, go out with Sam, play with everyone. You make me thrilling. It's nice. If I were you, I would do that. It's unwilling. Finally, he sends a mail to me. I will read it later. Why have you been in silent until now? Did we agree that you will email me two times a week? Are you suspecting me? I'm just questioning. You shouldn't suspect me and question me. I don't receive any money from you. I'm warning you. If you suspect me, then we're done. I will tell Albert everything. I'm sorry. I'm just curious. He is so annoyed. But I really need him. Hi, Albert. How is your new semester? It's fun. And you? There are new subjects and new surprises. I'm getting used to it. How was your vacation? It was a bit boring. Albert, let's go to the cinema someday. I want to watch a movie. Okay. I will be coming. That's the promise. See you. Why do you look happy? Sam called me, invited me to go to the cinema. Nice. It's a good chance. Try your best. It's just a movie. She really has feelings with you. We can't be sure now. Your old woman, where are you? Just run. I will find you. You are crazy, Oliver. Don't call me anymore. Where are my brothers? How can I know? You are crazy. 
This place isn't safe anymore. I have to move out. I will transfer to Winchester City. Oliver is finding me. Good. You have a good choice. That will help us in our work. I have good news for you. Can't you tell me right now? We must keep it until the end. I'm busy right now. See you. I will transfer to Winchester City. Oliver is finding me. Good. You have a good choice. That will help us in our work. I have good news for you. Can't you tell me right now? We must keep it until the end. I'm busy right now. See you. Albert, aren't you? I like your answer. I saw your last semester's result. Your result is nice. Keep it up. I've never closed to a student before. What's wrong with me? She always wants me to do what she says. She doesn't give me my own space. Interfere in my life. She always said she cared about me. But sometimes I get bored. His mother seems to be the same as my old wife. But I don't think that's a possibility. It would be good if you were alive, my son. Episode 13, To the City If you want to find a house for three, it will fix your request. It has two bedrooms, one living room with a kitchen and a bathroom, very nice for three people. What do you think? All right, I'll take this house. Nice, here is your contract. One sign and everything will be done. It's nice working with you, madam. This is my new house from now on. I should tell Albert. That attitude again. Does he still remember his mother? I must teach him a lesson when I have a chance. Hi, Albert. Let's go to the cinema at 5 p.m. All right, and we will have dinner later. You choose. Okay, let's me do it. See you. Good morning, Miss Judy. I'm busy this afternoon, so I'm not going to your house. I will come on the day after tomorrow. All right, keep your health. Today is the first date between you two. Good luck. Thank you. I have to ask Harry about where there is good food. It's empty. I should invite those two. I only have them as friends. Harry's mom? It's me, Molly. I found a house in Winchester City. Would you like to come? I will consider it. I get it. Thank you. Hello, Tandy's mom. It's me, Molly. I found a house in Winchester City. Would you like to come? Thanks, but I'm busy. I will call you if I have free time. All right. Thank you. Does she call you? Yeah, she invites me to come to her new house in the city. She is so annoyed because Oliver couldn't find her. He has been bothering me lately. Me too. He keeps coming to my house. How can I know where she is? I'm not expecting her to make a contract with a gangster. I heard that she hired Oliver to follow her son. Tandy told me she was controlling Albert like a prisoner. He also told me she hired three gangsters to destroy Albert's life. Oh my god, how could she do that to her son? I think that too. Fortunately, those three gangsters were picked up by someone. Tandy is still all right. I told him to stay away from that crazy woman. I told Harry too. Why did we meet a crazy woman like her? Sorry, we aren't still finding anything. Harry told me after the party ended, he never met Johnny again. Maybe you should come to Winchester City to find your son. Thank you very much. Has Molly called you lately? She has never called me since that coffee meeting. Really? But Molly told me you were busy. I didn't receive any phone calls from her. 
I came to her room, but she expelled me. I have to go now. Thank you for the information. Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? When Molly told us that Albert had a girlfriend, she invited just you and me, but not Ron's mother. She said because Ron didn't learn at the same college as Albert, and Ron didn't meet Albert much like Tandy. That snake woman. She thinks we're just a tool for controlling Albert. I found a house in Winchester City. Congratulations. I have some housewarming gifts for you. Albert is giving you a silent treatment. He only didn't call you, but also rejected any calls from you. One thing more, he is going out with Sam tonight. So that is, he doesn't think about his mother anymore. I thought he was busy with studying, but he gives me a silent treatment, and now he's going out with a girl. Please follow them. Wait, there are more. Albert is having a close relationship with a professor. That's good. The professor will help him. This is the most important news. I can't take it anymore. I have to teach Albert from the start again. This movie is great and thrilled. I cried so much in the cinema. Me too. Especially when the male protagonist speaks his last words to the heroine and lets her hand go for the heroine to continue to live. Their acting is perfect. I love that scene too. The heroine is lucky to have a man like that. Yeah, it's a pity that they can't be together anymore. Albert, thank you for today. I should thank you. Today is great. We should go out more. If it doesn't bother you, I'm in. If you worry about me, we should form a study group. Great idea. Goodbye, Albert. Thank you for tonight. You're welcome. Have a safe trip. Okay. See you. Albert! Mom, what are you doing here? Good evening. I am Albert's friend. Good evening. I am Albert's friend. Mom, what are you doing? I have been suspecting you were dating a girl. But you always denied me. Now I get you both. Mom, me and Sam are just friends. But if we are going out, that's our right. You have nothing to inhibit us. Shut up! Get in the car! I'm really sorry. Episode 14, Imprisoned. So Albert is dating with Sam. Yeah, he is. He was very happy. Good! Albert will be the first of our people to have a girlfriend. This time, and more times after that. He will succeed. You are the one who changes the most. But Albert is the luckiest. A professor helps him. And now he has a girlfriend. He is the best. That's right. He is so lucky. Harry, where are you? Are you with Albert? I am with Tandy. 
Albert is busy. What's wrong, Mom? Good. I want you to finish with Albert. You must stay away from him. Why are you telling me that? You don't need to know. Just stay away from him. Tandy, where are you? Are you with Albert? No, Mom. He is busy right now. I'm with Harry. Good. Stay away from Albert. Why is that? Don't ask. Just do what I say. What's wrong with them? Maybe they have some conflicts with Albert's mom. Just wait for a few days. Albert is having a good time now. He doesn't answer me. What do you want? We found a male corpse in a park. According to our investigation, he was near you. Did you see anything unusual? No, I didn't. We found a mobile phone in the corpse's pocket. When we checked the phone records, your call was one of the closest. This is my friend's mobile. Maybe the victim found it somewhere. So you didn't really see anything unusual? Yeah. I just only go to my college and come back home after that. My neighbors don't tell me anything unusual. Okay, thank you. If you have any information, please call us. Of course. Do you know why Albert is absent this morning? No, I don't. I have been calling him since yesterday, and he's still not returning my calls. Do you know where Albert went yesterday? He had a date, but he hasn't come back. I think he's got in trouble. You should wait until the end of day. If Albert doesn't come back, call the police. I understand. Thank you. Why did you have a date with the girl behind my back? Why didn't you call me? And why did you lie to Judy to go to the dormitory? When do you know how to lie? How do you know all of that? And why did you know where I was? You don't need to know about them. Mom, are you stalking me again? You are like that again. I don't really understand. Why are you trying to control my life? What must I do for you to leave me alone? Please tell me. What must I do to get my own space? Shut up! The college life made you forget all the rules. How dare you shout at me? I am your mother. What I do is good for you. Prepare to go to Judy's house. Albert. I won't go. You go alone. When do you start arguing me? Prepare it. We will go at five minutes. Molly, when did you go to the city? Why don't you call me? And Albert, please come in. You don't need to do that. I come to tell you, you don't need to look after Albert. He will stay with me. What do you mean? When did you move to the city? Why don't I know? If I tell you, I won't see how bad Albert is. Because you don't look after Albert. He becomes like this. You don't need to waste your time. Goodbye. Wait, Molly. I'm very sorry. I can't call Albert. And you? Me too. What if he got in trouble? I know it. You call Sam. Maybe she knows something. Great idea. What's wrong? Your eyes are red. Did Albert do something with you? He didn't do something, but his mother did. What did his mother do? When I said goodbye to Albert, his mother came, and then she slapped me. Albert's mom goes to Winchester City? Albert is in trouble now. Please tell us the detail.
Albert will be controlled more strictly. What do you mean? I mean Albert will be controlled more strictly by his mother. How is that possible? Albert told me it was his friend. What friend? It's him. His mother hired someone to follow him. Do you remember those gangsters before? They were hired by his mother. Oh my god, no way. Maybe Albert is locked in his house. We have to find a way. I will try to call Albert. All right, stay in your room. Don't go anywhere. If I don't see you when I come back, I will teach you a lesson. Why must you do that, Mom? What did I do wrong? Shut up! Everything you do is wrong. Stay in your room. I will turn you into a new people. What did I do to get this? Why did she act like that? She slapped me, and she told bad words to Miss Judy. She is crazy. I'm so tired. I should go to my room. My mom is almost losing control. She was listening to me before. But now all she has is a grudge against me. I can't tell her anything now. I must do something, or my life will become hell. My phone is out of battery. Maybe everyone is worrying about me. I remember it. I put my charge in my bag when I was going out with Sam. Just to be careful. I should charge my phone now. I remember it. I put my charge in my bag when I was going out with Sam. Just to be careful. I should charge my phone now. There are too many missed calls. Harry, Tandy, Miss Judy and Sam. There are messages too. Maybe they were concerned for me. Mom is still outside. I have to do it fast. Albert doesn't text or call. His mother busted him and Sam. Do you think he is locked up by his mother? We can't know unless we get the police to investigate. But we will get more trouble. Hello, it's Harry. Good afternoon, Mr. Harry Lists. I'm calling you from the Police City Department. We have the autopsy result. The victim is Johnny Cobbs. What? No way. Sorry to bother you, but we hope you can come for us to take statements. What's wrong? Johnny is dead. What? Is it real? I have to go to the police station. Episode 15, Chase and Ron. Albert, did you receive my message? How are you now? What's wrong with you? I'm worried about Albert. Why should you do that? His mother insulted you. He even lied to you. You don't understand, Bella. Your Aunt Molly is impetuous. She's always like that. But Albert is different from her. He is a good boy. I know why Albert has to lie. I will come to Albert's college tomorrow. When was your last encounter with the victim? I had an end of semester party. After the party, he went back to his hotel. Before he went missing, he called me for the last time. That's right. Johnny told me one thing. What was that? There was a mysterious man in front of my house. Who was him? I thought he was some spy that my friend's mother hired to stalk him. Why did she do that? Sorry, it's not related to Johnny's dead. That was the last time I met Johnny. There's nothing else. Are you sure about your testimony? Yes. I am. You can go home. If we need anything, we will call you. I will come to the police station tomorrow. You should come. By the way, tell Ron what happened too. Harry, it's me Albert. I'm being locked up by my mother. The door is locked. 
so I can't go outside. This is the address. Please save me. Albert? Oh my god! How are you? I'm not fine. My mom is nearly back. I can't call now. Please come. I'm waiting for you. All right. I will come as soon as possible. Albert, why don't you go to school? And Tandy too. What's wrong with me? I just met him a few times. Why do I care for you so much? I should take a walk. Sorry, where is the male dormitory? Judy? Jason, what are you doing here? I am the professor here. So that is. Thank you. Wait, why do you come to the male dormitory? It's not related to you. Johnny, why does it become like this? Tandy, where are you now? The police station. I just finished taking statements. Good! Stay there! I will pick you up. I can go by myself. There's an important thing. I will tell you later. You're here. Let's go. What are you hurrying for? I receive a message from Albert. What? Is it real? Albert is being locked up in his house. His mother keeps her house strictly. So we must do it stealthily. We're going to rescue Albert now. Where will he live after that? At my house. I think he can't live in his aunt's house anymore. You call Ron. Tell him to come to my house. Okay. I do it now. Those subjects are hard. Mom, I tried my best. Why don't you understand? Oh, you don't need to say that. There were some hard subjects at that time. But you could get best grades. Why can't you this time? You must be lazy in study. I heard that Albert got high grades. You should learn from Albert. It will be good if you keep in touch with him. Don't to tell me what to do. Wait, Ron. Albert, Albert, why do you talk about him all the time? If you love him that much, why not consider him your son? Ron? It's Tandy. Please come to Harry's house. We know where Albert is. We're going to rescue him. Nice. I'm going now. Albert! We're in front of your house. Can you go out? I'm in my room. Don't worry. I can climb down. Albert? Why don't you study but do something? Albert? Why don't you study? I just dropped something. Don't worry, Mom. You should study. I will check you later. How is Albert now? You should keep an eye out. I'm guarding him strictly. Good. I just want to warn you. I locked Albert's room. Why does he say that? Don't tell me. Are you good, Albert? You look tired. Not good. My mom is crazy. She wants to keep me at home and doesn't let me leave. What are you going to do? I can't stay at my aunt's house anymore. My mom will find me if I stay at the dorm. I don't know where to go. Stay at my house. There's an empty room, but you must help me pay the bill. Thank you. Okay, you take a rest. Me and Tandy will buy some food. Okay, thanks. You look bad, Albert. It must be hard. Yeah, my mom is crazy. It was lucky that I had my phone charge, so I could call Harry. So that is. Okay, you take a rest. I go outside. Thank God we saved Albert. It will be difficult in the future. Yeah, but we must try. 
Ron, Albert, here's the food. Let's eat. Ron, Albert, wake up. Let's eat. Did something happen? Ron, wake up. Ron. Ron, what's wrong? Where's Albert? Albert's mom came and took him away. I'm sorry. I can't protect him. Ron, what's wrong? Where's Albert? Albert's mom came and took him away. I'm sorry. I can't protect him. Sorry. I want to find Albert Cohen's room. Please go straight. It's room 168. Albert. It's me. Are you there? Sorry. Who are you looking for? I'm Albert Cohen's aunt in room 168. I want to meet him. Room 168 didn't come back. Do you know the cause? I don't know, but they really didn't come back. I get it. Thank you. Do you need something? Nothing. I'm the professor here. Just say it. Maybe I can help. It's been 17 years. We shouldn't remember it. I don't want to have conflicts with you. I'm finding my nephew, Albert Cohen. Albert Cohen? You mean... My nephew! So what? Please go to my room. Episode 16, Bird in Cage Ron is sleeping. He's been crying all night. Strange. How can Albert's mom know his place? Only me. You and Ron know it. I think about it, but I don't know the cause. Harry, how is Albert? Not good. He is caught up by his mother once again. Maybe this time he will be depressing. Really? Thank you. It really has problem. Albert's mom couldn't know this place so fast. She must be told by someone. I got it. Johnny used to say there was a mysterious guy in front of my house. He must be that spy. I have to tell the police. Who is Albert that you're referring to? My class has a student named Albert too. I want to find my sister's son, Albert Cohen. What? Molly's son? Why are you so surprised? It's not like you never meet him. If you can't help, I will find him on my own. My son is still alive? Why are you saying that? You are his father, but you don't know anything about him? I will explain later. We must find Albert. Albert, it's me. It's me, Tandy. Did Albert come back? Professor Jason, Albert hasn't come back. I know it. Thank you. Albert hasn't come back. Is he in trouble? Molly is living in Winchester City now. She came to my house with Albert on that night. She told me that Albert would stay with her. Do you know where she lives? She doesn't say anything. She was very angry that night. Okay, I will try to find him. You should go home. I used to say my friend's mother hired a spy to stalk him. That story is true. One of my friends accidentally found his note. He wrote all the information about my friend. Maybe it will help you. Thank you. It can be a good clue to investigate. If you don't have anything else, you can leave. I gave Ron's note to the police. I hope it will help. What note? Information about Albert from the mysterious guy that Albert's mother hired. Ron found it at my party. Ron gave me a note too. He wanted me to watch over Albert. Do you know why? He said he was concerned about Albert. So that is, okay, if you find something, tell me.
Albert, long time no see. Where have you been? Albert, wait for me. Are you sick, Albert? You should go to the medical room. I'm fine. Thanks. Albert, do you want to have lunch? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Let's take it another day. Harry, I met Albert today. Really? How was him? He looked ill and tired. He didn't talk to me much. Okay, watch over him for a few days more. Albert, you avoid me many times. If you have trouble, please tell me. I'm fine. Albert, you have been missing so much lately. Are you good? If you need help, just tell me. Don't miss anymore. It will affect your result. Thank you, but I have to go. My mom is waiting for me. He is stressed. Depressed and malnourished, has he had any serious problems? He seems to be somewhat panicked. Do you know what problems Albert had? His mother transferred to the city and took him to her place. He should take a rest now. How dare she violate her son like that? Hi, doctor. I'm Albert Cohen's mother. I come to pick him up. Hi, madam. Albert is very tired and he needs a rest. You should let him sleep for a while. I will take Albert to the hospital. You don't need to worry. What are you doing here? I come to pick up my son. So what? What did you do to make Albert look like that? That's not your problem. Just know Albert is my son, not yours. Please leave away so I can pick up my son. You are so cruel. Aren't you satisfied with what you did to me? And now you do it again to my son? Did you lose your mind? I have my own way to teach my son. Please don't interfere or I will call the police. Mom? You are awake? Let's go home. Thank you for today. I go first. Albert, are you fine now? Why do you leave early? Albert, you're not fine now. You should rest more. You don't have to do this. Mind your own problems. Albert, hurry up and go home. Yes, Mom. Albert, what are you doing? Don't make me mad. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Albert, you really? I never thought they would know where Albert was. Luckily, I have him. If not, Albert will escape from me. I have to let Albert know where his safest place is. What should I do with that house? Why is he there? Don't tell me he is Albert's professor. It can't be. I have to transfer Albert to another college. Albert! Mom, what's wrong? Why don't you tell me Jason is your professor? What do you mean? Is Professor Jason related to you? He is a bad person. I don't want to have anything with him. He's my economic professor in my college. He is a great teacher. 
and he is helping me to get a scholarship. Take a rest and study then. Episode 17, Rescue Plan. Albert was collapsed in the classroom. How was he? Me and Professor Jason brought him to the medical room. It's bad. She told us that Albert was stressed, depressed and malnourished. Then, Albert's mom came and brought him home. Just like that? Yeah, she was very angry. But Albert dropped this before he went home. Is this a dress? Maybe Albert is in there. Albert's mom transfers to another place. It will take some time. Furthermore, Albert's mom will be more alert. Then we should give up. Maybe Albert is getting his penalties from his mother. If he escapes again, you think what will he get? We know the location. But if we can't protect him, it becomes nothing. I have a phone call. We found a suspicious man in front of your house. Please come and confirm his identity. Great! I'm coming! Tandy, I have something to do. Send my hello to Ron. Harry has some works. I have to go now. See you. Okay, see you. Good evening. How is Albert? I have tightened the security. I never thought Albert's friend would help him to escape. Good. Be alert. Thank you very much. But how did you know where he was? There is something that you should know. Don't you remember our contract? I know. I will be more careful. I just want to repay you. You don't need to do that. Like I said, it's free. I have your result. Albert, what's wrong with you? What do you mean? Your result is lower than last semester. Some professors said you didn't hear their lessons and always looked tired. I know some students work part-time, but you should keep your health. I'm sorry, professor. I have problems lately. I will try my best. You useless! Why is your result so bad? I'm sorry, Mom. I will try more. I'm going to study. Study? I will check later. Albert received his result. It's too bad. Do you have any idea? I think Winchester University doesn't fit Albert anymore. Why is that? I get it. Maybe it's him. I know the cause. My old husband is a professor in Winchester University. There is a high possibility that he will help Albert to escape. You should transfer Albert to another college. Where should I transfer him? Mom University is a good choice. You can keep your eyes on him. Albert can't meet Jason and Tandy anymore if he goes to Mom University. You can fully control him. If Jason and Tandy are not around, he can't escape anymore. So that is, I will transfer Albert to Mullum University as soon as possible. Ron, you confirm it. Did he appear in front of my house that night? It was him. I saw him texting with someone. When I talked to him, he ran away. So he is the one who killed Johnny. What? Johnny is dead? That's right. I didn't kill anyone. Please trust me. Officer, he killed Johnny. Thank you for capturing him. Thank you for your cooperation. We will try our best to solve this case. How do we tell Johnny's mom? We should hide it from her for a while. Yeah, we should do that. I go first. See you. Yeah, see you. Why do you call me, Professor? I just want to ask about Albert. 
We haven't heard anything about Albert lately. So that is... Can I ask you one question? Why do you care so much about Albert? I asked Albert, but he said he never met you. Actually, Albert's mother is my old wife, but we divorce. But Albert told me his father was dead long ago. Maybe Albert was just a baby when we divorce. When I went back to take Albert with me, he disappeared. I tried my best to find him, but I couldn't. It's been 17 years. I thought Albert was dead until now. I think Albert is having a miserable life now. What do you mean? She is so cruel. Why did she do that with Albert? We tried to help Albert to escape, but his mother took him back. Do you remember when Albert collapsed? He gave me this before he went home. I know this address. Really? We are searching it. This is my old house, so Albert is right there. Okay, I will help you. But after that time, Albert's mom should be more alert. I don't think we can go inside. I have my own key. Don't worry. Nice. I will tell Harry. Serve you right, Albert. Let's see how you can win against me. This is Professor Jason of my college. He is Albert's father. Really? It's him. It's a long story. I will tell you later. Save Albert's first. Does it affect you if you're here? You should stay at home. Don't worry. Tandy told me everything. I want to save Albert. I have the key. Let's go! The door is opened. Let's go inside. Albert's room is upstairs. Albert, wake up! We're here! Why are you here, Professor Jason? My son! Poor you! Let's go home! What do you mean? Professor Jason is your father. Long story. We have to get out of here first. Episode 18, True Face. So you really come. Don't think about leaving here. I will call the police. This is my house too. Why are you here? If I'm not here, I can't see if you've been lying to me all this time. Don't tell lies. Everything I do is for Albert. For Albert or for your desire to control everyone else? Have you ever thought about Albert's feeling? I don't want to talk with you. Albert, come here. Come here, Albert. Don't you hear me? Don't make me mad. Don't go, Albert. If you go, you can't come back. That's right. Be strong. My son, don't worry. I'm here with you. Are you really my father? That's right, Albert. I have lost you for 17 years. Please save me, father. Please don't let me go with her. She is crazy. She is not my mother. How dare you talk about your mother like that? Come here right now or I will slap you. What are you doing in front of my son and his friends? Why do you slap me? I must do that in the first place. Look at Albert. You caused him to become like that. And you're implying that everything you do is for him? Is there another mother like you? She is crazy. She is not my mother. I tell you one thing. I will bring Albert to my home. Don't interfere me. If you want us to go to court, I'll go with you. Please don't cry, my son. Let's go home. Don't worry. No one can harm you. Albert doesn't see me as his mother. 
I'm a crazy woman. I'm a crazy woman. That's right. Maybe he can help me. I have to call him. You are that mysterious man? Why is it you? Mysterious man? Don't tell me. Ron, wait. So that's why Albert's mom knew his location so fast. Why is it Ron? Talk about it later. We have to leave this place. That stupid woman, she ruined everything. I have to go back. Maybe they will do something. Albert is sleeping. Let him sleep. He has been suffered all the time. I never thought that Ron was the one who denounced Albert. Ron used to ask me to watch over Albert. I thought he just cared for Albert. Me too. I usually texted to Ron, but I didn't think Ron would did that. Please tell me everything that happened. Me, Tandy, Ron and Albert has become friends since secondary school. And then we found out those three gangsters were hired by Albert's mother. She did that? That cruel woman. I won't let Albert go back to her. I've lost him 17 years and I won't let him suffer anymore. That stupid woman. They must call the police. I have to do something. Ron, it's me. I'm going to visit you. You don't need to do that. I'm busy right now. What's wrong? I barely have a chance to visit you. Ron. Your result isn't good lately. I'm not satisfied. You must learn from Albert more. Shut up! You talk about Albert all the time. Why don't you consider him your son? Wait, Ron, why you? Why everyone around me is fools? Why do they always make everything difficult for me? What's that? Ron is having some problems. I guess he shouted at me. He should be fine. I'll call the taxi. From our investigation result, all the evidence led to the case changing its course and ending differently. That guy is not the killer. He just accidentally appeared near that place. Then who is the killer? We are finding now. And we found this. This stick was buried near the scene. We found fingerprints in it. We will use them to investigate. We will tell you if we have the result. I get it. Thank you. Harry, Johnny's mom and Ron's mom are coming to the city. They will stay at your house. Please help them. Okay, mom. Where are they? They are coming to your house. I know it. Okay. They all will die with me. Nothing special. I know everything in it. Doesn't this note have anything special? What is this? A phone number? Who is that? It's Oliver. Oliver? Why am? Wait. Molly used to tell me she was chased by Oliver. I have an idea. Again? Who is that? Hi, Oliver. I have good news for you. Who are you? I'm no one, but I have something you need. Do you know Molly Cullen? She is hiding from me. How do you know her? I'm a friend of her son. I know where she is, but I have a condition. Condition? I want you to protect me. Help me kill her son and his friends. Then you will have Molly. I thought you were friends. Used to be. What do you think? It's good. Give me your address. Okay. Harry, did you find anything about Johnny? Where is Johnny? He hasn't called me until now. I'm worried. If you don't find anything, it's okay. I will do it myself. But can you let me stay in your house? I won't bother you. Aunt, I have news about Johnny. Really? Where is he now? Actually, Johnny's dead. 
Harry, are you just kidding me? Why Johnny is dead? It's true. The police found Johnny's corpse and called me. Harry, is it true? Why does it become like that? I don't know, but that is the true. I'm a crazy woman. Albert doesn't want to stay with me. What should I do? Albert, please forgive me. I was wrong. Can you come back to me? Good evening, stupid woman. How are you feeling right now? Why do you call me? Everything is ruined. Serve you right, stupid woman. I call you to tell you I will do what our contract says. I will tell Albert and his friends everything about you. Why do you do that? We are in the same boat. Don't tell lies. You only care about yourself. You don't call Johnny's mom because Johnny doesn't go to college. You hate my mom because I don't study in the same college as Albert. You like Harry's mom and Tandy's mom because their sons always talk with Albert. Everything you do is only to control Albert. Am I right? No, it's not. Yes, it is. One more thing. Oliver is finding you. I gave him your address. Good luck. Eat slowly. Albert is getting well. Dad, everyone, I go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. Albert is happy now. That's good. Congratulations for you too. Thank you very much. Ah! What's wrong, Albert? Who is this? Harry, where's Albert? Ron, it's me. Albert must be happy now, because his mother is nearly dead. What do you say? Albert's mom is what? She's nearly dead. Oliver is coming to her house. If you want to save her, come now. What do you say? Ron? Albert's mom is what? She's nearly dead. Oliver is coming to her house. If you want to save her, come now. Who's that? It's Ron. He says Oliver is coming to Albert's mom's place. What? We have to go now. Wait, I'll go with you. You are sick. You should take a rest. I want to go. I don't want to see her dead. Okay, if you want. Episode 19, Failure Mother. Why is Johnny dead? Who killed him? If he's still outside, Ron must be in danger. I have to call Ron. Please listen to my call. Ron, I'm worried about you. Ron, it's me. How are you? It's me, Harry. Please tell Johnny's mom to get ready. I'm coming to pick you up. What happened? I will explain to you later. I called Ron's mom and Johnny's mom. You, Albert and Tandy go first. I'm going to pick their two up and come later. Is this okay to let them in? Ron is crazy now. Only his mom can control him. Besides, I think this case has something to do with Johnny's case. Okay, we're going first. I have sent the information to everyone. We must find Ron Warland as soon as possible. Extract videos from cameras around the city and send people to search for him. Police, I want to report on a death threat case that is about to happen. Please calm down and give us details. We are in suburb right now. Please come. We will confirm your location. Thank you. Johnny's mom, please calm down. I know you are upset right now, but you have to calm down. Maybe Harry had some mistakes. Maybe Johnny's still alive and he's waiting for you. Harry is coming to pick us up. I think he will bring us to Johnny's place. Really? 
Harry just called me. Let's come back and wait for him. Please come in. We have to go quickly. Harry, do you think you were wrong about Johnny? I hope so, but the police confirmed it. I hear that Rod is cooperating with Oliver to kill Albert's mom. Albert, you come back to me. Albert, go upstairs. Albert told me to bring him here because he was worried about you. What did you do to become like this? If you don't want to say, I will go upstairs. Okay, everyone is all here. Tell us, what did you do to become like this? Why are you so stubborn? I... Everyone, run! Hi Molly, here we are. I want to meet you so much. Please, Oliver, I don't know where your brothers are. Please spare me. She's not telling the truth. Maybe one of them knows. Ron, why do you do this? Everyone is all here. Prepare to die. Ron, we are friends, aren't we? Friend? I've never seen you as my friend, Albert. Why do you say that? What did I do wrong? We have the same starting point, but I don't understand why you always get lucky, but not me. You study at Winchester University, but I have to study at a small college. You go outside with friends, have a girlfriend. Why must I stay in my dorm? That's because you focus too much on study. You don't get to rest, so you're always stressed. But we all see you as our friend. Harry, do you really think we accidentally meet each other? Hey, Molly. Do you still remember our contract? Please don't! I beg you! Don't say anything! It's too late. That's what you received for destroying the contract. Albert, your mom chose a group of kids to control you. She found them excellent and approached their family. They were me, Harry, Tandy and Johnny. Did you ever think why there were always four of us? Because your mom expelled other kids. But because of Johnny not going to college. She broke her relationship with his mom. She also saw that I didn't study at Winchester University. So she broke her relationship with my mom too, but familiarized with Harry's mom and Tandy's mom. Surprise! She has seen us as pawns to control you all the time. We haven't had any friendship since the beginning. She realized she couldn't control you when you went to the city, so she hired Oliver. I found her spy in Harry's party but I realized that was the best chance to make you a pawn in my hand. I gave all the information to your mom. I saw her go insane to find a way to control you. She was really mad when she found out you had a date with Sam. That crazy woman transferred to the city to hide from Oliver. The first thing she did was busted her son. She imprisoned his son just because he didn't do what she wanted. I gave her your location. I only get a slap, but you cried like a kid when she dragged you. That's your mom, Albert, a crazy woman, hired gangsters just to control her son? Brilliant! Please don't say anything more! Oh right, you have a dad who is a professor, right? Do you want to know why they divorced? Ron, please stop, don't do that anymore! Why are you here? Who brings you in? She comes to the city to visit you. She cares about you. You liar! She never cares about me. She only cares about my scores. Hey mom, do you know why I become like this? You have some parts on it. You forced me studying every day. You asked to me achieve high scores. You wanted me to do everything. You say you care about me. But did you ever listen to me? Did you ever ask me what I want? You only talked about Albert. Albert this. Albert that. Oh, there's something I want to tell you. Albert's scores are lower than me. Are you happy? Your son is the winner. Ron, I'm sorry. I didn't look after you. Too late. Oliver, Molly is yours. 
all of these people will die. That's too long. I'm tired with your thoughts. Okay, let's do it. You are Molly's husband. How do you know my name? I know your name. Your wife is my loyal customer. Do you know when you met other women? Your wife always appeared near it. I told her your information. She hired me to spy you. She thought all women you met wanted to seduce you. You have a great wife. Enough. Die. Wait. I know where your brothers are. What? They are in the place that very far from the city. If you take Ron's gun, I will tell you. Don't ever think about it. You will die first. Boss, police are coming. How do they know? They're crowded. What do we do? Let's retreat. Ron, wait. Sorry for being late. Where is the culprit? He just ran off. He would nearly fire us if you didn't come. Sorry, what culprit? We are pursuing Ron Warland for murder. The victim is Johnny Cobbs. Sorry, I have to go. Sorry, what culprit? We are pursuing Ron Warland for murder. The victim is Johnny Cobbs. Sorry, I have to go. Johnny's mom, are you all right? Don't touch me, you murderer! Give back my son! You bring her to Albert's room. She's out of control. You should avoid Johnny's mom from now on. If you don't have any place, you should stay here. Molly seems unwell. Please take care of her. Thank you. It's hard to make her sleep. She has shouted Johnny's name all the time. She lost her son. Her mind isn't stable right now. She needs to calm down. Let her stay here for a while and bring her out of here. And avoid Ron's mom. What about my mom? I asked Ron's mom to take care of her. For Johnny's mom. I need some time. I can let her stay at my house. Does that bother you? It's okay. My mom asked me to take care of her. It's better if Ron's mom stays here. Alright, do what you say. Poor them. One people lost her son. One son is a murderer. I don't know how this case would be. Episode 20, Set the Fire Why the police appeared? I nearly caught Molly. Boss, the police are finding a boy named Ron Warlin. It seems like he murdered someone. Don't look at me. Maybe it's just a namesake. I'm not alone in calling Ron. It should be. If the police are finding you, I will submit you to them. Don't talk about that anymore. What are you going to do? They will probably bring Molly to somewhere. I think you should let somebody investigate some of the place they might come from. No need to tell me what to do. Get out of here. They are Oliver's brothers. He chased Albert's mom because she hired them and they are missing. This case is serious now. What's that? Why do you call me? I want to ask about three gangsters that you caught. We take great care of them. What's wrong with that? Their boss is finding them. He nearly killed my friend's mother because she hired them before they were missing. You mean Oliver? He has some guts. Luckily, the police came in so they didn't harm us. But I think he will be get into the action. I get it. You should be careful. I got something. Please rest more. You're not fine now. It's okay. I'm fine. Did I do something wrong? You called Ron's mom was a murderer and almost attacked her. I was very angry so I couldn't think anything. I should apologize her. I think she would understand. Everyone would do that if they were you. Poor Johnny. He has much things to do. You should rest. We will try to find the culprit to make him pay.
Tandy, could you call Ron? Ron didn't answer my message and my phone call. It seems like he gives up on us. I didn't expect Ron would do that. Why does everything become like this? Ron is very jealous of you. Do you feel the same? I never see Ron as my enemy in study. I have only a few friends so I cherish all of my relatives. I just didn't think Ron was that kind of people. Albert, how will you confront your mother? What do you mean? I mean, your mother made too much mistakes. What do you think? I can't think anything now. Everything is very serious. Ron and Oliver are finding my mom. How's your mom? I don't know. My dad said she could sleep. Albert, I will come to Molly's place this afternoon. You take care of yourself. Can I go? No, you should stay at home. You are in danger now. Professor Jason, can you let Albert stay in the dorm? If he stays in the dorm, no one can harm him. I will take care of Albert. Good idea. What do you think? If you think it good, I'm in. Are you awake? Please eat it. How long have I slept? All day long. I made very much mistakes to you and everyone, especially Albert. This result is worthy to me. I just didn't think it would cause others to be in danger. Ron's mom, do you hate me? You should eat more and take a rest. I'm going outside. I'm really sorry. The situation is serious now. The police are finding me. What should I do? I have to collect all of my things first. Maybe everyone is sleeping. I should go. Oh my god. Say a word and I will shoot you. Stay here. If I didn't see you when I was back, this dormitory would get the result. You should be quiet. If I know I'm exposed, I will find you. What are you doing here? Get out. No, I don't. I still have my contract with Oliver. He hasn't caught Molly. I haven't killed those people. We are not finished. You again? Get out! Oliver, you don't know where Molly could be, but I do. The police are everywhere. Do you think they will let you catch a woman? You need me, Oliver. I see you on the news. The police are finding you. How can you make sure that you won't cause me trouble? I know everything about them, but you don't. We still have our contract. Don't worry, I won't go anywhere. How is Molly now? She ate her dinner and went to sleep. What are you going to do? I don't know what to do. My son is a murderer. The police are finding him. Ron said I was the one that make him become like this. How could it be? I just want Ron to become a good person. Did you ever talk with your son? Sometimes. Did you ask him how were his study? Was he tired? How was your school? Have you ever asked about your son's feeling? I am a teacher. I met much parents like you. They always wanted their kids to do this, to do that, but they didn't know what their kids want. I don't want to judge you. I just think you lack empathy. You only possess imposition. We must protect Molly now. The police will catch your son and you must face him. You should prepare. Old man, where is Molly? Find upstairs. What are you going to do? You know what I'm going to do. She owes me. I want to make her pay. You can't touch Molly. What's wrong with you? You should be the happiest man when your wife become like this. Don't you remember what she did? If she dies, you and your son will have a happy life. Boss, we have Molly. Good. We will get out of here. 
I have what I want. I'm leaving. I forgive you this time, but if I meet you once again, you know what I will do. Farewell. I have what I want. I'm leaving. I forgive you this time, but if I meet you once again, you know what I will do. Farewell. What should we do now? Please calm down first. Harry, Oliver came to my house and took her away. He has his gang. I can't do anything. I got it. Please do nothing now. Oliver won't kill Ms. Molly now. He needs her alive to find out where his brothers are. I think he will torture her. We need a plan to save Ms. Molly. I will contact to some people and call you later. Okay, please do. Please take a rest. I will find some ways. Episode 21, The Trap Oliver gets into action. What do you think? I will bait him. You should prepare. Okay, thank you. Albert, Oliver caught your mother. Really? Calm down. I have a plan. Please prepare and wait for my call. Oliver caught Ms. Molly. Maybe Ron will get into action too. I will find a way to catch Ron. What will you do? Johnny is dead. I don't know what to do. Maybe I will go home to take care of my husband. He still doesn't know anything. Ms. Cobbs, I... What's that? Nothing. Please take a rest. I caught her. Very easy. Nice. Albert and his friends will find her. You must help me. Don't worry. I always honor my promises. Ron, please save me. Please don't go. Ron, save me. Don't cry anymore. It's time for our job. I hope you will say it. Please, I don't know anything. Please stop it. You should take a sleep. You look tired. I can't. I have to wait for Harry. I'm worried for my mom. Don't you hate her? What do you mean? Your mom did many bad things to you. I thought you must hate her. I'm still mad at her. But I don't want her to die. I want to give her one more chance. If she didn't change herself, I would stay with my father and never meet her again. I think that too. Take a sleep to get some health. Tandy? Where's Albert? I can't call him. He is sleeping now. He has waited for you since last night. Please tell him we will go tonight or tomorrow night. My acquaintance is getting a plan to bait Oliver and Ron. Okay. Do you want me to call Professor Jason? I will call him myself. How is it? She is so stubborn. She says she hasn't known anything since last night. Please, Oliver, please spare me. I really don't know anything. I think she is telling the truth. So where are those guys? Maybe Harry knows it. He usually makes parties. He knows some people. He said he knew where my brothers were. Okay, follow me. Please save me, Ron. I can't take it anymore. You deserve it. We need to use you to get Albert here. I can't let you go when he is still alive. Why are you so cruel? Don't tell me that. Do you forget what you've done with Albert? I think he's happy now when he knows you'll die. Albert will never do that. I think he will. And your husband Jason, you destroyed their life. Why must they feel sad about you? You reap what you sow, old woman. You think you know everything, but you just a fool. Please save me Ron. Please let me go. I will do everything. Shut up. Ron, please don't go. Get prepared. We will go to your friend's house. What are you going to do? Kidnap him. Of course. But we will bring Molly with us. If we have Molly, he must go with us. Good. I know Harry's house. I go with you. 
Of course you must go with me. Boss, I have an important news. We know where our brothers are. What? Really? It's true. They are in the suburb. It has the address. Your brothers are sleeping in the forest. Find them if you have guts. Those guys are challenging me. Prepare. We will go in 10 minutes later. Okay. The driver will stay here. We go into the forest. There must be an ambush by them. Nothing around here. Where could they be? Boss, let's go that way. Okay, you look around. Me and him will go inside. It's them. Boss, you are here. Don't say anything. We must leave first. I will kill them if I know who made you like this. Boss, be careful. They are everywhere. What? What happens? I see a shadow. I shoot it. Check it now. It's our brother. Why is he here? Why is it him? It's okay. The bullet doesn't hit the critical spot, but we must bring him to the hospital. Wait, what about Harry? Forget him. My brother goes first. You two go inside and bring other two. Where is our car? The driver was here. Where could he be? Do they really have ambush? Prepare to fight. That's you. I don't know what you want. If you don't give back my car, I will kill you. Oliver, stop it and give Ron to us. I will give back your car and protect you, so that you can go back to your house. You killed my brother. Why must I believe you? Think carefully, Oliver. The force that killed your brother is beyond your imagination. They only give you this chance. I called the police. You can't escape. I can shoot you and get out of here. I fought the cops so many times. It's useless. My men are everywhere. You have lost when you walk into the forest. But because you did nothing in the city, they wouldn't kill you. Please do what I say. Give Ron to me. Don't ever think about it. Did you forget what you say? Shut up. You are not worthy. My brothers go first. We have nothing now. I accept. He is yours. You must protect me. Don't worry. I always honor my promises. Your car is there. How can I let you leave in peace? If I can't live, everyone must die. How can you have a gun? I thought I took it from you. It's just a fake gun, you fool. Ron, please stop. Don't let other sins befall you. The police are coming. You can't escape. I have nothing to lose now. I will kill you before they come. Die, Harry. Ron, please stop. Don't let other sins befall you. The police are coming. You can't escape. I have nothing to lose now. I will kill you before they come. Die, Harry. So you tried to buy the police some time. We have to do that because you are a criminal. They wouldn't shoot, but you shot first, so they had to do that. Ron, you lose. So I'm still the loser in the end. Good, 
At least I didn't lose to Albert. I don't understand. Why do you hate me so much? We can be friends. I don't need your friendship. I just want to win. Haven't you ever seen me as your friend? Why do you have to be like this? Shut up. Just catch me. But I need to kill you first. Albert. Go to hell! Albert, are you okay? I'm okay, but Ron... He is alright. The bullet just flied by. He faints because he loses too much blood. We have to take him to the hospital. He hates Albert that much. I don't know what he's been through. Ron, come back to me. I'm wrong. I will never force you anymore. I will let you play. Ron, come back to me. Episode final, unforgettable lesson. I still don't believe Ron killed Johnny. Everything comes too fast for us to realize. You two don't be like that. He is a killer. That's the truth. I still want to see Ron as my friend. Don't say that, Albert. There is no friend who wishes to kill their friend. You have to face the truth and accept it. I know that, but... How is your mother now? She is better now. But she doesn't talk with people. She just stays in the bed and look at the ceiling. Sorry for that day. It's okay. I don't mind it. Can I visit your mother? That's great, but you should do it another time. I don't know how Johnny's mom is. She's the most heartbroken person in this case. That's right. She lost her son. That cannot be replaced. I have an idea. What do you think about it? Molly is better now, but her mind isn't good. She doesn't talk with anyone. I will find a chance to visit her. Please do. Maybe she will be better if you show up. I just don't think Molly would do those things. I thought she was too strict with Albert, but I never thought she would try to control his life. I want to sorry about that day. No problem. It's okay if we can understand each other. Prisoner Ron Moreland, you have guests. Ron, why do you become like this? What are you doing here? I don't want to meet you. Don't say that. She comes to visit you. What about you? You must be happy when I become like this. Albert visits you because he's worried about you. Why don't you get it? I don't need his sympathy, and I never consider him my friend. Let's go, Albert. He's done. Yeah, let's go. Goodbye, Ron. You should leave too. Don't bother me anymore. That's enough. The court for Ron Warland will be held next week. What is the highest penalty for him? Ron Warland has committed murder, intentional injured someone and possessed of a weapon. He will get 15 to 20 years in jail, or maybe he will get the life imprisonment. Please calm down. You have to face it. Don't worry. There is a reforming prisoner program in jail. Ron's pardon will be granted if he has a positive attitude. I will take her home. You three take care of yourself. Let's visit my mom. I have always had a thought. My mom is talking with someone. It's strange. She doesn't want to talk with anyone. Let's try to hear it. I have always thought that everyone is bad people. The only good people is my family. I thought I must protect them, and the best way was to stop the problem from the start. So I hired people to follow my husband and my son to solve the problem as soon as possible. They were angry, but someday they would understand. Until I saw Albert begging to his father to bring him out of my house. Albert called me a crazy woman for the first time. I thought every of me was collapsed. Everything I did became nothing. I couldn't think anymore. 
and Albert left me. You are wrong from the start. Remember what I told you? You will be old and Albert must face the problem by himself. If you don't give him a chance, he can't survive. You should teach Albert how to survive rather than trying to protect him. I know. I was wrong. So I'm afraid to meet him. Whenever I see him, I remember about that day. Maybe Albert hates me so much. Let's go home. Thank you for joining our party. I called Ron's mom and Johnny's mom, but they are busy. Johnny's mom are coming here. She told me yesterday. That's good. Where is she? Good evening, everyone. Sorry for being late. Good evening. It's good to see you here. Thank you very much. Actually, it was me who invited her. I have something to say. Miss Cobbs, will you accept that we are your godson? What do you mean? We will consider you as our mother. I knew you were sad because of Johnny's dead. So we had a talk and agreed to do this. We will take care of you for Johnny. Do you agree? It's their idea. They just want you to be good. Please accept it. I don't know. Everything is unexpected. Congratulations. You are having three children now. If you don't mind, I will call you my children. Albert, Tandy, Harry, thank you very much. You are welcome. It's good that you are happy. Congratulations for Ms. Cobbs. Here she comes. Please wait for me. You come. Let's go. I don't know, Judy. Maybe Albert still hates me. Even if it's true, you must meet him. Let's go. I invited Molly to this party because I thought she must be here. Everyone, please don't mind it. Mom, you're really here. I want to meet you, but I thought you didn't want to talk. Albert, do you still hate me? Why should I hate you? You are my mom. I did much bad things to you. I forget them all. Please don't talk about them. Albert, I'm sorry for interfere in your life. I promise I won't do that anymore. Sorry for causing you trouble. I'm sorry, everyone. It's nothing. Don't mind it. Thank you for inviting her. You're welcome. Just forget all bad things. We should look at the future. Everyone. Cheer!